Morning guys, it's a beautiful Monday morning, 17th of December, and the frost has just lifted and it's a clear blue sky. Look at that, especially after this weekend with the rains and the winds. Uh, so just give you a quick reference where you are. Up there, where the white frontage is, that's the pavilion where I had the uh, TE20 with a spiker on. Where I muck spread the fields across there, and in fact this one at the front as well. Uh, where I did the water trough line across there and in that corner is where the water trough is now uh, so that was last week, last Friday I finished off with a tap so this morning I'm just down at what we call the garden house this is the back of it leading onto the fields uh, this used to be the headmaster's house back when we had a school here the school closed down in 2002 um, and then the estate as it is now was set up with the livery yard and the caravan site and we did have ride holidays here which is what this block was for so there were 16, under 16 girls between I think it was 8 and 16 they used to come over the summer holidays and uh, learn to ride horses, jump, everything so this morning's job here we are planting up a hedge this is the privet hedge I was going to do I mentioned last week so these are spaced out a foot apart so between there and there is a foot and there's about six inches so it's about 30 centimeters apart and 15 centimeters across I quite like planting them that tight it, uh, it means if we do lose any you've got a spare one on the other side to take its place if need be I can take a front, the front row out or the back row out later on in life if it gets too thick just gives me a bit of flexibility with it um, but yeah they're double planted so either side of that rope we've got them planted down uh, I won't spiral these don't really like spirals to be honest um, they don't let the, bu the plant bush out uh, basically the plant has to get up and above the spiral before it starts bushing out and when you need a, a nice tight hedge you can lose 40 centimetres of growth from the bottom which is quite hard to get back unless you lay the hedge so this will be staying as it is I'll be weed, uh, spraying weed killing in between them and if I can I'll get some wood chipping as well and we'll wood chip between the two of them which will just keep the weeds down because by the time we get busy I'll be grass cutting which is pretty much all this area down here and the caravan sites there's about 3 or 4 acres of grass so that's about it really, um, you can see I've added a path taken up just down here uh, there aren't really any foundations to it which is why it was moving all over the place there's a couple of bricks thrown in and a lot of sand so I'll, I'll most likely cheat which I don't really like doing but I'll probably just turn straight onto the top on this side of the rope well actually that side and this front bit so we'll take this path straight down there towards the hedge and take out that kind of chunk of hedge um, just to try and make it tidier um, but I'll probably just turf on top of that sand because that's pretty much all it is don't really like doing it because it sods a lot as soon as you want to put anything there you'll hit every single brick that somebody's put in but as I'm 90% sure that that's just going to stay grass I won't be that bothered about it to be honest and if it, anything does happen it's usually me that will be doing it anyway so I can curse and swear at myself <laughs> so, uh, the way I'm planting this hedge is slip planting this morning. The ground here is quite nice actually. It's not too clay. It's not been compacted by horses or vehicles. So it's quite simple to dig through. So what I'll do is I'll show you how, what I'm doing. For those who don't know, there are two ways that you generally plant these whips. One is called tea planting, which just like it says you plant it in the T shape so you cut a T into the ground and slide your roots in to the centre well the top of the T the centre bit where there's a larger hole or slip planting and hopefully you'll be able to hear me from down there so we're slip planting spade in wiggle it around take your bare roots your whips which is that it's about 40 centimetres nice big root on it nice top half
push it the right way in and then peel it back in so it's uh, making sure that all your roots are under the, under the ground, under the surface I hope they can see that there's a soil line there which is where they've been planted to before so you want to be round about there so all the roots are buried and you've still got your top half so that is a slip planting, I'll show you again straight straight in give it a wiggle out roots in turn it in there is another one which is tea planting you see straight in make your tea wiggle it about Again, check your roots. Slide them in. Right, that'll probably do. We'll catch you later. Bye.